Anas. Arim Yaw Anas. The Motor Traffic and Transport Unit, MTTU, of the Ghana Police Service is supposed to be the key enforcer of road traffic regulations and in our bid to tell a complete story about accidents on our roads, we cannot leave out any bad nuts within the MTTU. We turned our hidden cameras to officers whose activities taint the hard-won reputation of the Ghana Police Service who refuse to live up to the motto of service with integrity. We also look at those whose actions continue to result in the needless loss of lives and property on our roads. You have to drum home that it is not right to pay bribes. Elsewhere, somebody, if a vehicle is uh, else in other jurisdictions, you post a, what do you call it, a, a ticket on his vehicle, quickly he will go and pay. In this country, the moment I arrest you, you call your boss. This breeds corruption. But the difficulty we have is that you see, we need evidence, concrete evidence to convict somebody. You call somebody, come and give evidence, he doesn't want to come. But on tape, fine, we, we are trying some of them. We don't know whether we'll succeed in getting them off. So, so immediately we transfer them and then we are, we are putting them on trial. An MTU is not, it's not confined to the MTU. But if you are an MTU, you consider a policeman. We consider you a policeman first before you become an MTU personnel or CID personnel. And the disciplinary regulations affect all of us holistically. The police will be effective. In the, because if you need evidence at times to, to prove that whatever you are doing out there is right. So if you have some of these gadgets, and these are gadgets, state-of-the-art gadgets, that will tell you when the offense was committed, where it was committed, the vehicle's number is there, so that when you go to court, you can have conviction. From the police stations to the roadside, on the highways and at the illegally mounted checkpoints all over town, our mission was simple, to focus our lenses and expose the badness within the MTTU. In phase one, we told the story of how police officers in various police stations demand money before issuing extracts from the station diary, which was illegal. In our country, the MTU is primarily to ensure that traffic regulations are obeyed. Elsewhere, it should be the, the city authorities, the, the, what here we call the uh, uh, city guards. Uh, in that vein, it means you should not also uh, litter the city and the major towns of vehicles by unnecessarily parking them where they are not supposed to be parked.
objectives of the MTTU include to prevent and detect motor crimes and offenses, to prevent loss of lives and damage to property on our road, to ensure free flow of motor traffic, to arrest and prosecute motor offenders, to educate all road users. With these objectives in mind, we went to town. Our first stop was at the central MTTU office here in Accra. There, we came across the story of a drunk driver who locked a lady in Accra. The case ended up here at this station in the able hands of Officer Adeji. We kept our cameras on. The person who gave the car to the business, I'm interested in him because the driver you gave the car to is an unlicensed driver. And then also, uh, he was he was under the influence of alcohol before driving the car. And when we take his statement, he alleged the person who gave the car to him, he told him that he is drunk. But the person so the duty is limiting me. I think that one, is the elderly person, that sort of is in there. So we would like to see the one who gave the car to him. And then we will start from there. It's like if you want to fetch palm fruit, you cannot bypass the branches of the palm in front and then and go inside and go and fetch. It will not be possible. So unless you remove the distance step by step before you ultimately come to so why the don't you help me remove that step by step? You see? Why don't you help me remove that branches before I go to the top? That is the branches we are removing. After two days of negotiation, Officer Adeji and his superior agreed to take 100 Ghana cities before releasing the driver. This was settled. Then came the thanksgiving token where the driver had to thank them for their support and understanding. I mean, I'm very Last week, I had a <laughs> An unofficial spot fine of 30 Ghana cities was paid to senior officer E. E. Donko. Uh, I want to leave now, so thank you. And Officer Adeji, the deal maker, received 20 Ghana cities. With that, one drunk driver was released onto the road. You wonder who his next victim would be after the police decide to be brought with a few cities. Our next stop was the Osu MTTU office. Here, we witnessed the case of a driver arrested for driving an unregistered vehicle. Sergeant. Yeah, sir. You used to take place, you know. Sergeant, mm. for up to the map, you know. This officer took his time to explain the driver's offense to him. We have two types of plates. We have the DP plate and we have the DP plate. The DP plate is for the effective plate. The DP plate is not transferable. The DP plate cannot be transferred from another place. The DP plate is only for two weeks. After two weeks, it expires. 
Then a city guard appeared on the scene. Yeah, yeah. The guard gave the offending driver assurances that there was a way out. If only he was willing to pay an unofficial spot fine. His offenses would not matter once he settles the officer with that way. The vehicle owner seems all too familiar with the situation. All the officers wanted to process his case. I'm going to get the Again, the city guard steps in as a mediator, exhibiting the power of a key negotiator in the process. I knew my This city guard offers to speak to the officer in charge on the driver's behalf. Her power went. Yeah, 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 yeah
Yeah. No, when you people came, when I was asking this man to bring the driver, he was still standing there. I think I was using my power to do whatever I want. I'm sorry. Bring the man. These city guards were supposed to help the police in their road traffic enforcement duties, yet they have rather become the agents who negotiate bribe sums to be paid to officers. We also met this driver who helped us with the comparative analysis of Osu and Central MTTU officers. There was also this officer who had some words of advice for a pleading driver. We direct your plea so you can receive pardon, he advised. Why? <laughs> <laughs> at Medina, this police officer, aka License King Kong, charged a truck truck driver and seized his license. But even before negotiations could start, this question came up. Do you know a remedy? After making known how tired he was, he invites the arrested driver for negotiations. He asked the driver to bring back a charge sheet that he had already given to him. Driver returns with this. Maybe tight, yet not so much as to appreciate the smashness of this driver to slip the 20 Ghana City's unofficial drive sum in an empty wallet. Here, we see that he has seized so many licenses, he cannot tell which is his. <laughs>
Days later, we went back to Central MTTU where we met this no nonsense officer. Officer Baka would vehemently resist any attempt by this driver to plead for a release after his arrest. The driver had to wait for hours. An unlicensed motor rider with an unregistered bike interestingly agrees to take 20 Ghana cities to allow the rider to walk off with no charge. <laughs> We are back at Medina MTTU and here again all this driver needs to do is offer the 20 Ghana cities on official spot fine to escape the prosecution net. Okay, <laughs> At the Kwame Nkrumah Circle, these officers arrested a driver for We are arresting you for not passing your seat belt. So let me see your answer. After a magic chat, the officers take 10 Ghana cities, seal a deal, and let the man go. Okay, 
Kietu, a taxi driver, is arrested for illegal parking. He pleads for leniency, forcing this officer to reveal why MTTU personnel have always pitied taxi drivers. After that, she takes the 20 Ghana City's unofficial fine that allows the taxi driver to drive on without hassle. This police patrol officer at Danko Circus in Accra might seem to be doing his job of easing traffic and ensuring sanity on the road. But after observing him closely, we found him engaged in some other duty. <laughs> This was the offence for which he arrested this driver with an unregistered vehicle. Negotiations are still ongoing at this stage. The officer also seizes the key of a wrongly parked vehicle. They reach a final leg of their negotiation. See how he takes the bribe of 20 Ghana cities. Cash delivered, vehicle released. He repeats it with the second driver in this last act. With the unofficial spot fine paid, the car keys are returned to the driver. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna High Street was our next stop. So what can I do for you? This driver was stopped for wrong turning and possessing a photocopied license, an offence under the road traffic regulations of 2012. This is what ensued. Yeah. I'm not gonna eat too much of this. Ah. I'm begging you. I want you to go to court for 4 million, 5 million here. Then yes. you get to yes. uh, No, that's why I'm, I'm begging you. That's why I'm taking it from that level for you. You are also begging with a reason. And I'm also considering with a reason. Because if you go there, you meet them, you talk with them there. I don't know how much of them are. They tell you what is happening. And I also talk to you with the time you can go ahead and have to do that. But no, I, I don't have anger gun on me like this. Eh, who's happy? Out the officer goes, and another driver drives on our streets without a license. This officer issues a cheat for an overspeeding driver to report to court. However, there is one condition for his release. He can pay a 15 cities unofficial spot fine and drive on. Mm -hmm. These officers stopped this driver for. Where is he? Is it because you are attention on the test and you are taking you are stopping? You are not even able to stop. It's not good. What is it? You want to be able to do it? I know. 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 I but yeah. I'm not going to collect the money. You pay the money and all. You can even take the coupon to any bank. Oh. The conversation that followed was of threats and negotiations. Are you ready to pay that money? There's a procedure. You want us to follow the procedure or you, you want us to go the opposite? You divide the fine to pay all the pay of the That's the only thing you can do and help you. Because yeah. you are not the only person that you have my arrested. You have arrested so many people. We have to keep everybody equal. You say you don't want to go to office here. We don't give you the city. We pay the fine. We can buy you the city and pay us. We are not going to do that. Now you are making you count down for me. I'm making you come on here. Are you ready to pay the half? Please, come back to you. I don't want to go to the city. Come back to you. You need to pay the fine. You are not going 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 to pay the fine. This 
officer featured in our first look at Central MTTU. We met him a second time when he arrested a motor rider for riding without a helmet. But like in the first offense, he refuses five cities and would agree to release the rider when he was handed 15 Ghana cities on official spot fine. This city guard comes across as a cautious type. Man, you take your camera capture. No, no, no. Where a junior would not accept bribe, however hard the offending driver pleads. The superior was switched and he did not only sympathize with the offending driver but agreed on behalf of his junior to take the unofficial spot fine. As the deal nears a closure, he makes this call. Uh, okay, finish and come, finish and come, let's, let's do it fast. Eh? Yeah, okay. Yeah. You yeah. should give 50 cities for the open. And you get your motor and get your Mind you, this 50 cities is the top of sum to an earlier 100 Ghana cities that had been taken from the driver. 
At Nungwa police station, all this driver whose license had expired had to do was pay an unofficial spot fine to this officer for a road traffic offence under Regulations 33, Section 9 of the law punishable by 10 to 25 penalty units or maximum prison term of 30 days or both. No, 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 we have, we have to buy the note though. Sir. Then she should bring the note. Because the note is really like the note. Thank God. Thank you. Thank you. Sport fines are supposed to be fines that are issued on the spot where the offense has been committed. Currently, what happens is that when a, a vehicle or a driver commits an offense, is possessed on paper and a court date is given, facilitated for you to appear before a court and a judge will give a judgment. The sport fine regime has come out with a list of offenses that do not need these processes. So you commit the offense there and then your, your, your uh, offense is uh, mentioned to you. You pay the money that is, because the, the, every offense has its uh, fine attached to it. So the fine is read to you, you pay the fine to the uh, sport fine uh, implementing agency. And then you are allowed to go about it. It's only when that you cannot pay on the spot that the court should pay. MTTU boss explained some of the challenges his outfit faces. The MTG is massively under-equipped, massively under-equipped. First and foremost, if you're talking about traffic management, then it is human resource. That is, what do you call it, the personnel. Because if you look in town, you see the number of the MTU men who are there. They cannot cope with the, the traffic flow in areas like Accra, Kumasi. Kumasi is even worse. See, currently, Kofudria is becoming another problem. Takrade is becoming a problem. Human resource. Currently, they don't even have the breathalyzers. They don't have the speed cans. We've made proposal for, for uh, the authority to provide them for us to be able to use. Uh, as, I, as I speak with you now, we, we don't have them. The mere knowledge of the police equipped with these things will even make the drivers who are supposed to be checked sit up. Given how easy drivers, commercial and private, could get away with motor traffic infringements in the capital, we moved into the other regions to find out what happens there. I'm a driver. I'm a driver. I'm a driver. I'm have you heard it before? Okay. Yes. Give me your dialogue. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Here in Kofoidia, we encountered Officer Asari, who had a very simple request. Mom, stop on me. I'm telling you now, where are you? 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 I'm telling you now, Knowing well that the driver was driving without license, he would take money and allow the driver to continue his journey. <laughs> Still in Kofoidia, Officer Kumsin accused this driver of careless driving and the driver admits it. Take a listen. <laughs> the officer has some interesting comments before accepting his unofficial spot fine. <laughs> We met this policeman who stopped a driver for driving without license. 
He wants the driver to make him an offer rather than beg. where this young police officer took a driver's license before asking for the documents of the vehicle. The driver in turn had this excuse and matters would be settled the usual way. He would however leave the driver with a warning in his own interest. The Boedi police bit was pretty straightforward. Officer Akuncha at a doom had few words for this driver without a license. But he would sound a word of caution to the driver. He goes as far as to offer the driver help to obtain a driver's license. In the central regional town of Brewa, this driver was stopped by a police officer because he had contravened Regulation 12 of Road Traffic Regulations LI 2180, failure to renew documents of his vehicle. Your road where you have the new one there. The, the, the two or? Yeah, yeah, I did all the two. All the two. I did all, all the two. Hmm? So this is the two or is five? Yeah, that's what I, I've done it. I, so, I'll, I'll give you a chance. So I'm begging you. you. What you kind of? That, that be, yeah, 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 yeah. Me, you see, you now <laughs> I'm 
Super Green. Por favor. Me gusta, Leo. Bueno, pues yo. Poco de aquel, por eso es el mismo. Un de niños de la noche, por el día. Vaya, un mejor que tú. The other regions were covered by our team and many more officers were caught complicit, aiding and abetting in the infringement of road traffic regulations in their own peripheral We observed the following in Tamale. Oh. Okay, thank you. No, 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 how much are you bragging? Oh, I'm not bragging. Okay, how much are you bragging? Five minutes. Fair. Mm -hmm. I stand there again, what are they beating? I can't give five minutes. Oh, okay. I'm like, you do something, you have to make sure you do it. Oh. You don't mean something, why are you doing this? Mm -hmm. Não, mas a minha unha é de problema. the reputation of other hard-working officers but also denies the state much needed revenue in spot fines as contained in the road traffic regulations of 2012 li2180 currently we have you know running the red lights instead of waiting for your turn that is very much pronounced with the private vehicles uh, dropping of passengers in a, at unauthorized places and picking of passengers, you will see that a bus stop is not a place for people to park their vehicles and pack and pick passengers. You are supposed to drop and pick a passenger there. What we see is that the commercial drivers will go and pack their vehicles there permanently until the vehicles are full, they will move. By so doing, they impede on the smooth movement of vehicles from behind. And these are the issues that we are getting.
motor traffic statistical analysis, motor accident returns from central MTT between 1999 and 2012 observations. Summary of motor court data 2009 to 2012. Total number of cases reported 23,907. Total number of cases sent to court 17,599. Total number of cases convicted 12,586. Number of cases awaiting trial 2,862. Number of cases under investigation 3,672. Warning letters issued 2,636. Number of cases discharged 785. Court fines awarded 2,960,253 Ghana cities. In fact, the major problem, as far as we are concerned, as far as the road accidents are concerned, is the human factor. When we talk about human factor, it's about the failure of the human being, be it the pedestrian, the driver, to do what he should do. For example, if the driver fails to maintain his vehicle regularly, if a driver is on phone and he's driving, and the course of the you're talking on phone, somebody crosses you from your blind side. If a pedestrian is crossing a road where he is not supposed to cross, he, the, the road is not clear enough for him to cross, and yet he runs to cross, and he's not, it's a human factor. If the policeman is supposed to enforce the law to the letter, and he allows monetary consideration to overrule his sense of judgment, it's a human factor. Then the road, engineering. If the road makers do not do good road engineering, it is likely to create more accidents on the road. Potholes, and then the drivers who, who probably would decide to run at the top speed into the pothole. You will see people will deliberately put sand. You know, they you know, scoop sand and do some unlawful speed ramps. They are a major cause of accidents. Where there's a need for a speed ramp, it must be professionally done instead of allowing the people themselves to be, to be doing some of these things. Um, leaving vehicles in the middle of the road when there is a problem, especially the cargo trucks. Instead of them you know, towing them from the road, the moment the vehicle gets a problem in the middle of the road, drivers do not even indicate with triangles and whatever to forewarn approaching drivers that there is a problem there. Drunkenness as well, drink driving. That one is cast across. The, the commercial drivers, most of them, you know, if closed from work, he goes to take a tot, you know. They, uh, 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 I mean, that is the private driver. The commercial driver wants to run very fast to get to his uh, the destination and come back. So he thinks that under the influence of alcohol, he becomes a bolder driver and run into accidents. Overspeeding is a major cause of accident to overspeeding, especially during festive occasions. The Christmas period, the, the Easter period, you know, where people are celebrating, do, uh, doing some celebration of their cultural festivities. Drivers tend to overspeed. Most of the time, too, we are where some passengers induce the drivers to run so that they can run, they can get to their decision very fast. And that causes us. So, overspeeding is one, drink driving is one, and lack of maintenance of vehicles. A lot of vehicles will have their tires worn out and they are using them. Some of them are using what we call it uh, uh, second hand ties. You know, second hand ties have a duration that it expires. So when they expire, people will go and bring them into Ghana and start selling them. The second hand ties should not be encouraged. 
RS, as a social entity, is to bring to the fore an important and critical aspect of our life. We have put forth our candidates for persons and institutions behind the avoidable loss of lives and property on our road, which is by far the most patronized means of transport in the country. From the offices of the DVLA, NRSC, and GPRTU through to the traffic intersections and offices of the police MTTU. And of course, not forgetting the drinking bars within and close to major lorry parks, the Tiger and his team has just pulled the handbrake on the soul takers. I will tell Ghanaians that uh, road safety is very, very necessary. And that all of us must put our hands to the shoulder. Because one life lost affects a string of family members. Um, you know, we have an extended family system. And therefore, if one person is, you know, hit, even incapacitated by an accident, it affects a whole lot of people. And therefore, we need to take road safety education very seriously and go along those lines so that we don't get involved in unnecessary accidents. Everything happening in our dear country. We need to save lives. Let's stop the accident. Let's stop wasting lives. Your vehicle must be fit and safe. The person who drives the vehicle must use the skill with diligence. For drivers drive, they forget about the road safety, the speed limit. We are advocating for a good public transport system where it can carry a number of people, where they will be safe on the road. We shall be back to report to the good people of Ghana on if any changes has been recorded in the areas that we have touched on. As always, we seek God's peace and blessings for our homeland Ghana.